What's up Quest family? My name is Eli Miller. I'm an AT through hiker from 2019 class. Uh, over these last couple of weeks we've been doing little videos about the gear that I use and gear I recommend for any person doing a long hike or specifically a through hike on the Appalachian Trail. This week we're going to talk about my sleeping systems. Um, I recommend two different sleeping systems for the most comfort, if, especially if you're going to be out there for four, five, even six months. Uh, you'll see a lot of climate change kind of as you do go up north. So I recommend having a system for the winter and a system for the spring and summer. So first off, we're gonna go over the winter gear situation. Um, I recommend somewhere between a zero to 15 degree bag, especially if you're gonna be starting out in the earlier part of the year, like January or February. Um, you can see some really cold temperatures up in the Smokies, uh, whether it be teens or down to the single digits. Uh, so a zero degree bag is perfect. You can combine that with a bag liner, such as the Thermalite, that keeps you extra warm, adds another 10 to 15 degrees to your bag warmth, and it keep, protects your bag from you. As we all know, when you're hiking the AT, whether it be a long section or short section, you get gross, you get sweaty, and having a bag liner will increase your warmth at night as well as protect your sleeping bag from getting as gross as well you are. Um, other things that I recommend using would be two different sleeping pads. Um, the reason for this is that the ground that you're laying on, whether it be the shelter floor on the AT or just any kind of campground or ground, is gonna suck heat out of from underneath of you. So having two different pads helps give you an extra layer of protection from losing any heat. Um, ones like the Thermalite Z-Lite, like I used, or anything from Sea to Summit is also what I use. These two different sleeping bag combinations allow for extra comfort and a little bit of extra warmth. The last piece of winter gear that I used was a pillow. I use the Nemo Philo Elite, which was perfect. Um, it's compact, real small, and then again, just gives you a little comfort of home of having a pillow, even though you're outside. As spring comes around, you're probably gonna be switching up your gear. Like I said before, it's wise to prepare for one set of sleeping system for the winter and one for the summer and early spring. Um, personally, I love the idea, and I personally used an ultralight quilt, a bag liner, a pillow, and I sent home one of my sleeping pads just because I didn't need it anymore. It's not as cold outside, so the ground won't be sucking out as much as your heat, and every through hiker knows that if you can ditch something off of your back, you're gonna be happy for it later. So again, I recommend an ultralight quilt, a bag liner to keep that little bit of extra heat and protect your gear from you, and a pillow just because, you know, you always want a pillow even if you're outside. Um, and then a, again, a single uh, sleeping pad is a cuts a little bit of weight, keep you comfortable still on the same note. That covers what I use and what I recommend for any through hike, uh, especially when you're gonna be one that changes seasons where you see a variety of cold and warm temperatures. Um, as far as what brands that I recommend that you use, Marmot, Nemo, Big Agnes, Western Mountaineering, all these brands make incredible sleeping bags and quilts that have a variety of prices and comfort levels. There's a lot of options there. Some uh, brands for your sleeping pads might be Sea to Summit, Thermarest, Nemo, these brands, again, have all kinds of different variety in what they sell and how much padding, how much weight. So there's a lot of options for you guys on what you want to end up getting. Um, join us next week when we talk about nutrition. Um, as any through hiker knows, when you're out for even more than a week, you can start getting real hungry. And the single most important thing that you can do for your body is eat the right foods at the right times to give you the calories you need to not lose too much weight and to keep yourself energized. As always, come into the store. We love seeing you guys. We love hearing your questions. If you have any questions specifically about the brands, we'd be happy to break them down, go through the different models, and find the one that's going to be best fit for you for your upcoming adventure. Um, come in and see us. As always, it's great to see you guys.